Hi, my name is Christoph Schmidt. I am self-employed in the education business and I'm located in Eastern Germany in the beautiful city of Leipzig. I've met Learn Life in Barcelona two years ago. I had the chance to visit the community and to interview some of the learners and some of the learning guides, the other people working and creating and co-creating there. I've been living and trying to co-work and co-learn with them for a, a whole week. And when I saw that there will be this event, this relearn event, I wanted to join and I wanted to offer my support on this journey, on this path of reinventing learning, of shifting learning paradigms. My deep concern is connecting learning communities in the German-speaking area. Therefore, I, I'm in contact with innovative schools, innovative people, innovative learning communities in the Netherlands, or in Switzerland and in Germany. And what we want to do is we want to connect schools which are already on their way, on their path of reinventing learning. I hear many people saying that when we start reinventing learning, when we start shifting learning paradigms, we must not reserve that to people, to learners, children, teenagers and parents who can afford that. We must not do this in the private way and intention, but we should open this, this possibilities and opportunities to all learners all over the world. So we have to enter uh, public education systems and when we start to create new learning paradigms, we have to start with teachers and teaching. We have to start with how teachers think about of their profession, what teachers think they have to do when they teach. When we want to change education in a national way and if we want to, to give, it, give this opportunity to most young people, most learners all over the world, we have to start to change the teaching profession and the teaching itself. So let's first talk about the core intention of Learn Life and the Learn Life paradigm. I have been very impressed about this simple graphic um, Learn Life delivered to us, which you can see in this slide, where they visualize uh, a procedure, a path away from standardized teaching that is mandated by authorities via personalized learning created for the learner and personalizing learning co-created with the learner to personal learning that is created only by the learner. I've tried to explain to myself what that means in a more metaphoric way and the most impressive difference between the classic traditional way of schooling and teaching is this safari mode and the, the target or the goal Learn Life wants to reach with the learners together is uh, the expedition mode. So what we want to do is we want to come from traditional safari teaching and learning to the expedition mode of learning where ownership and responsibility is totally in the hand and the mind and in the heart of the learner. And my next question is when we really uh, want to take this path seriously uh, under our feet, which kind of support do we as learners need? First of all, we don't need teachers anymore and what that means uh, can show the next slide to us. This slide shows the five P 
pillars of the traditional school system and it is already an answer to what the, what is the task of teachers and what is teaching about in this traditional culture of schooling it is um, uh, all about grading what teachers do is taking control about the learning paths of learners about grading through the concept of testing the second uh, pillar is they try to create homogeneity through organizing in classes organizing learning in classes the third pillar is the the instruction mode um, uh, through which they try to create some linearity the fourth pillar is organizing learning through subjects uh, maths and physics and languages and geography geography and so on it's the the the, the content uh, concept of school and the last and maybe very important pillar is um, the try of synchronicity bringing the learning and uh, the students and all the learners into line uh, delivering the same con content to the same people um, through the same time window with the same results these are the five um, pillows um, and they show us how it works in traditional school system and what teachers are expected to do the next slide wants to show in which direction the learn life paradigm wants to bring us we oh that's the wrong thing so here we can see how we change the path from the traditional to the learn life paradigm of learning and we change the five pillars instead of controlling the, the learning of, of students and learners uh, we develop and create a reciprocal reflection of growth and we come to a concept of ownership what means that every learner learns and develops a concept of I am the one who is responsible for my own learning the second pillar is we come from homogeneity to open and heterogeneous um, teams to a concept of eye level and mutuality in the learning paths of different individuals. The third pillow is instead of trying to, to find some linearity in classes, we open the paths of learners and learning to more research and design and connecting to field labs in the society, in the culture, in companies and so on. And we, we develop and create a concept of relevance. We, we enable learners to come to their own decisions, what is relevant to them and to develop their own potentials and needs and visions of learn life calls it ikigai the fourth new pillar is instead of framing the learning path and the learning time and rhythms of learners we accompany and enable them to handle query and literacy on demand through the help and the aid of digital technologies. We try to, to create a concept of competencies and skills instead of this um, content-based concept of delivering content. And the last and maybe most important difference to a traditional uh, teaching a concept or system is that we replace um, this um, synchronicity that we deliver content and control uh, learning paths and outcomes uh, through 
bringing them all into one room at the same time with the same content and the same results. And we develop together in the learning ecosystem a concept of autonomy. And when we want to change these five pillars, we have to start with different concepts of education of teachers. And this is the next slide of my Firestarter talk. First of all, I am convinced that you cannot force people, um, teachers, um, to change their own mindsets and you cannot force them uh, to join a learning community that wants to develop a new learning paradigm like for example Learn Life does. People have to make their own decisions that they are really curious and they want to change their own concept of education and profession and then we can start supporting them and, and we can start to develop or to create a common path of different concepts of being together and coach and guide learners into their own um, their own biography in their own concept of learning. We have to break this vicious circle and we, we, we can tackle that on five points. We can start, for example, um, through changing the, the education of, of teachers themselves. We can change the way um, teachers are, after they finish their studies, are introduced to their professions, um, for example, in schools. Uh, the third way is that we try to show them other ways of teaching. Um, through visiting alternative learning communities, through being a part of them for some time, we can um, support them by creating um, new ways of further education, that they start taking ownership on their own learning path of developing and redesign and reinvent their own con mind concepts of teaching. And in this way, this circle of reproducing all traditional concepts of teaching and schooling will change. Teachers start stepping back from their traditional convictions and concepts of delivering and serving and selecting and preparing and grading and controlling and instructing through re-experiencing their own learning paths to, to, to feel the, the power of learning again, the intensity and the joy and the passion of learning again, to discover themselves as a learner again and to create, first of all, their own different personal learning journey in different environments and communities, not only in traditional schools, learning by unlearning experience, learner-centered at first hand on themselves. I think that's the only way uh, that we have to change ourselves and our own concepts of teaching und es liegt eigentlich daran, den Lehrer oder den, den Lernbegleiter, Mentoren, wie auch immer wir sie sag ich mal, nennen wollen, auch in der Zukunft, einfach wieder ein, vielleicht ein, zu ermöglichen, ein, ein Partner zu sein für, den, für die Kinder und nicht derjenige sein, der, wie gesagt, immer eigentlich ein, ein negatives äh, Bild abgibt.